Coming up next, we explore the VAT regime on manifesto check here on your election command center. And that's a promise that was made by the NPP in this 2024 manifesto. We compare what was captured in the 2020 and 2016 manifesto as well. And that is manifesto check here on your election command center. The manifesto checker Dennis Barberi Wadam is here. What's with the VAT regime and the promise to, to, to change the, the regime as we have it now? Well, so tonight we are looking at the VAT story and we decided to caption it the MPP's promise to undo their own deeds. Undo their own deeds? Yes. What did they do that they are seeking to undo? Well, we'll find out that in a bit. But this promise is uh, <coughs> coming from the MPP's manifesto 2024, and it is to the effect that they are promising to have some reforms in the VAT regime, and what they intend to do is by merging all the levies into a single line item levy, and treat the merged levy as part of input and output VAT to mm -hmm. eliminate the cascading effect in the current regime. Mm. So this is what has been captured in their 2020 manifesto. I mean, the NDC has a similar. Uh, promise, but that is just to the effect that they want to undertake a comprehensive reform of Ghana's VAT regime to provide relief for households and businesses. And as we move forward, you understand what they mean by, I mean, the MPP means by the cascading effects and what the NDC also means by giving relief to household and then businesses. Mm. Now, this is um, a transaction that was done by one of our colleagues in the newsroom. So he bought data for his household. And this is what you see by way of a receipt. What you have on the screen, you have a method of payment that has been indicated. Less tax actually means that this is the actual value of the, of, data. Of the data that the person bought. Okay. However, there's a CST, that's the communication service tax of 5%, which translates to a certain figure, 12.93. There's a national health insurance levy, 2.5. There's get fund, 2.5. All of this there's COVID. is 46%. Yes. Now there's what we call the vatable value. And then on that vatable value, you have 15% applied to it. And at the end of the day, he had to pay 330 CDs. So let me understand this. So the, if you, after paying for all of this, so yes. if you add the CST, NHIL, get fund, COVID-19, that's a, a, a separate tax on its own. Exactly. So let's do that breakdown. Please. And you see that in the next slide. Tell me. So this is how it looks like. Mm. So this is how much the data costs. Like I mentioned, less tax. You have 258.52 Ghana cities. Mm. The communication service tax is 5%. So 5% of the amount of data gives you 12 cities, 93 pesos. That aside... Now, mind you, this is not part of the VAT we are talking about. Mm. The VAT used to be get fund, national health insurance levy, and then the flat rate, which we call the VAT, put together. Right. Before the MPP era, it used to be 17.5. Mm -hmm. What that means is that it was 12.5 for VAT as in VAT, plus 2.5 get fund, plus 2.5 national health insurance levy. And it was together as one. I see. And I will show you that in the next slide. Mm. But this is what they are doing. So this is the current regime. Okay. 
So first, you calculate the communication service tax. That amount is here. The National Health Insurance has its figure. They get fund. COVID-19 levy is there. Then you add all these elements. So 12 cities plus 6.46, 6.46 .46 .46 plus 2.59. Add it to the total amount of money, of which was here. 258 cities, 52%. That gives you 286.96. Now, on this figure, you calculate the flat rate of VAT, or the VAT itself, 15%. which is 15%, which gives you 43 points. 43, 43 points. 43 cities. Yes. About. Now, add that figure to this again, then you get 330. What it means is that you have actually added the, v, the National Health Insurance, they get fund in the, and the COVID figures to the amount, the value of the data, and now having to deduct, I mean, to do a 15% of that again. Hmm. The effect is not the same. Now, let's look at what used to happen in the previous regime and how much you would have paid if you were doing the same transaction for the same value of data as in 258.52. So, in effect, this one, we're actually paying a total of about a little over 70 Ghana cities in taxes. Yes if you do the calculation. Okay. Now let's move forward. So this is the previous regime, how it existed before we came to this. Okay. Now under that regime, simply what we would have done would have been for us to just take, so if it's 5% of CST, 5% of that, the figure, National Health Insurance 2.5, Get Fund 2.5, COVID 1, and just add up. In that case, straight up, you are getting a total of 325.74. I see. So by virtue of the MPP decoupling the National Health Insurance and then get fund from the flat rates, it has actually increased, increased the amount of Tax taxes issue. that we pay. Now... Or what do you say? Maybe the incidence of the tax? That's yes. the impact, right? But mind you, even before we got to have been 15%, mm -hmm. it was 12.5%. Mm -hmm. It was in 2023 that the MPP increased it to 15%. Mm. Now, why we are saying the MPP's promise that to the undo... The approval of this increase was by one vote in Parliament. Exactly. Call that. Now, why we are saying that this is the MPP's promise to undo their own deeds mm -hmm. is because we found ourselves in an era where it was like this. Straight up, you calculate, you would get something less. Now, they introduced a new regime where they decoupled it. Mm -hmm. The effect is seen. much higher than it used to be. Now we have the flag bearer of the same party that brought us here, promising us today that when he comes, he's going to take us back to where we were. Now it's not even a question of a flag bearer, it's a question of party because tonight we're looking at party manifestos. Indeed. This was an MPP government doing. It is mm -hmm. their deed. The same MPP manifesto today we are seeing in there that they are taking us... So these are the details of the 2024 manifesto? This is, the, this is, the, this is from the 2024. Okay. All right. So in essence, what we are saying is that it's a promise for them to undo their own deeds. Hmm. And that's it for Manifesto Check tonight. The verdict, as always, is it's, with the people. With the people. Uh, but the evidence of the taxes and this impact is, is in our yes. pockets. Yes, our, our pockets. colleague was actually crying. Mm. I mean, it's the reason he had to... He couldn't understand why it mm. caused this for him to pay this much. But hopefully... The next MPP government, with this promise, you pay less than this. Anyway, well, it's for the people a verdict in, indeed. I thank you so much, Dennis Barbera. That's a small of this you can find on 3news.com.